Hello lovely kids, it's nice to have you again. Our topic today is on communication. I wanted to get a writing material set as we begin. Now what is communication? Communication is a process of sending and receiving message. Communication is very important in our daily living. Like we know, no man is an island, so everyone must communicate with people around them. Just like the definition says, communication is a process of sending message and receiving of what messages. Now, message can be in written form or in spoken form. Now, let's look at the means of communication. The means of communication is grouped into two. One, the old means of communication and two, the modern means of communication. Now, the old means of communication. In the old time, the means used to pass message or receive message was true. One, pigeon. Two, horse riders. Now, during the time of old, when message was to be sent across the use of pigeon when message was to be cross sent across pigeon was used or us riders now this is a pigeon carrying a letter or a message so during the time of old, the use of pigeon was what was used to send messages to people. Now we'll have modern means of communication. The modern means of communication is of two types and they are one, personal communication and two, mass communication. When we talk about personal communication, it's a private communication that is usually between two or a few people. Personal communication is a communication between two or more or few people. Then also, common tools of personal communication include phone, laptop, tablet, just like you have on this picture, phone, tablet, and laptop. The most popular of these is the phone. Everyone knows a phone. Everyone even has a phone. Now, these days, most people own a mobile phone. This allows people to communicate very easily with one another. Now, mass communication. Mass communication, just as the name implies, Mass communication means exchanging information or sending messages to a very large number of people. Mass communication is usually done through the use of mass media. So the means of mass communication include television, radio, the internet, magazines, newspaper, etc. So you can see them on your on the slides. These are means of mass communication. Now let's look at the importance of communication. One, it helps us to keep in touch with other people. Communication helps us to keep in touch with other people, people that do not live around us, people that we cannot easily see, but we can communicate with them with different means of communication so communication helps us to keep in touch with other people then the next one we have here says we learn about happenings and events of the world through different means of communication so that's another importance we learn about the things that happens in the world through different means of communication like the newspaper the radio television etc now Let's look at some interactive questions before we go. One, why is it important to communicate with one another? 
why is it important to communicate with one another a to keep in touch with others b to drive others away c to be enemies to others to be an enemy to others the right option here is a to keep in touch with others now the next interactive question how did people communicate in the olden days how did people communicate in the olden days a through phones b through letters c through pigeons the right option here is c through pigeons now before we go let's take a look at uh, the assignments for this lesson answer the exercises on exercise 20 which is page 21 at the back of the book. when you're done take a picture of your work and upload to the portal for marking make sure you are good kids and stay safe bye